Hey guys, Lyndon here. And today I'm actually asking, answering a question that came from Shamron Yadiar as it relates to how do we now set specific, create specific reports based upon whether it's month or year in um, HubSpot CRM using the dashboard. So let's check it out. One of the main things, especially for managers, is really drilling down or looking at specific months or periods so to answer the question that um, Shamron gave on the YouTube channel from the last video that we did, we're going to look at how do we set it up for, for a specific month. So just as a quick recap, the dashboard actually covers a number of different things as it relates to the cards. But now if it is that we want to set up a specific month, what we can do is that we can go across the way it says filter dashboard. Now this filter dashboard, um, tab here this is specific to the entire dashboard so everything that you do on this left hand side is going to adjust all of the cards in the dashboard so what we will do is that we'll click and then you have the options to see as to whether it's date range owners teams tie um, deal pipeline or ticket pipeline so based upon what you are filtering for you can make your options for this but in this instance we're just going to look at date range and there's no standard filter right now and we're just going to look at all data as the first example and we're going to use the frequency as being monthly and apply so what will happen now is that it will adjust everything in the pipeline to say all right so the deal forecast date range is all time so everything of since we started using hubspot this is going to be the information that's going to show up right if you look at all the other cards the cards are all the, the other cards themselves have changed to the other cards themselves have changed to all time and the frequency being monthly. Now, how do you also get to see this? It's actually right to the top. Now, if you want to make other adjustments, you can make those adjustments. Excuse me. You can make those adjustments um, by just clicking where you're seeing the date range and the monthly. So wherever the filter is, it's going to let you know as to what filter you're working with within right now. And you could actually now change this. Let's say, for instance, we wanted to change it to, let's say, something like rolling date range or custom date right so you can choose the month that you're looking for outside of these specific presets all right so let's go with a rolling date range and we want to use maybe the last seven days 14 days 365 days again once it is that you update it everything on the card is going to change all right so to go specific to the question now how do we now look at the month of march if it is that we want to look at the specific month you can actually now, instead of using rolling date range, you can customize your date range and you, you could look at a date within your, um, within, your, within your CRM. So if you want to say everything within the month of March from, uh, from the March 1st to the March 30th, you choose this particular date range. You want to show the frequency of it again. We want to look at it, not daily, but we may want to look at it weekly and you update. And this is what you go, this is what is going to be your end result on the card. And again, everything here on the card has changed has changed because you are using the general filter. Now, what if it is that you just wanted to adjust a card? Let's say you just wanted to use this card alone and set a specific date range. You can actually do that. So your entire report can be generalized, but as you know, you're saying, you know what, I want to see everything for this particular deal snapshot. So you can actually go in here and you can filter separately from this report or in this card and it will show you the date that you're looking for. So instead of just saying create date, you can say date range, you can say all data again, or you can choose a rolling date range. You can customize, you can say within the last 30, 60, 90 days or 365. Oops, let me just go with 90 days, all right? You're noticing here, Right, and you're looking at the deal filters you would have chosen, what specific deal filter you wanted to choose. Once you've done that, you can click save. All right, and if there's any data in this report that it needed to give to you, it would have given it to you. So I hope that answers your question, um, Shamron. But you, as I say, you can, you can look at the generalized date range um, in terms of adjusting for your month, or you can actually use a specific card and you can choose a date range um, that best suits your so, needs. There you have it, right? It's one of the th key things with HubSpot's CRM, especially the dashboard, is that it gives you the ability to be so customized. And one of the cool things I've mentioned in that video is the fact that you can actually now take that setup in terms of that dashboard, and you can now set the dashboard to push the report for you, whether it's weekly, daily, monthly, biannually, quarterly, however you need it.
All right, so hope I answered your question there, Yadiara. Take care. Thanks a lot for the question and the contribution in the comments. Peace. Bye-bye.